If you're watching this, I'm dead.
precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn the last breath, I will burn the city to the ground. <laughs> celebrity pages, a handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to the city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. Good morning. 
always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Dick of Cain give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector works behind the scenes if he only knew Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral there's something else she doesn't know she has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe slated for cremation and what if the League of Shadows finds him if they draw out their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who we'll gets to talk to Langstrom? Gotham University. So I'm looking for a professor? Kirk Langstrom. Judging by a half-finished file with the code black, that man was digging into him hardcore. I'll keep my eyes open for any clues. on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the board. Oh, no. 
Engstrom is no longer among the living. Any idea where his office is? Seriously? Crap. Well, our notes had his office on the third floor of Molten Hall. Thanks, Belfry. Someone left the balcony doors open on the third floor. Body cam recording. This must be it. The police didn't spend much time here. This must not be where Langstrom died. What are these marks? They look... No. Have you found anything, Robin? I've got absolute jack shit here. There's something here, for sure. I just need to piece it all together. You need backup. Can't just let you spend all night in the library writing up theories. I'm fine, Red Hood. Right. Be careful. And if you need backup... I'll call you. What happened in here? This is clearly where Langstrom died. The GCPD abandoned the scene pretty quickly. Do they just not care, or...? Langstrom appears to have been attacked at his workstation. Blood loss was... significant. Signs of a struggle. Then, whoever did this... pinned him to the wall. How awful. Langstrom dragged himself towards that cabinet before he died. Why wouldn't he go to the door? Is that a hidden door? Langstrom is hiding something behind this cabinet. Let's see what Langstrom took this much trouble to hide. unethical research. Dr. Langstrom was hiding some serious skeletons down here. Langstrom's workstation. There must be something I can use. could be useful. A hard drive? If it's back here with the sketchy research, it probably has something good on it. Or something very bad. I'm heading out. The police missed plenty here. Some weird marks on the walls, a hidden lab. I found a hard drive that might help us figure out what Langstrom was up to. Can't wait to hear what you've got. See you soon.
sounds as good a night as any for the freaks to ride. Yeah, without that man dropping in, the freaks and all the other gangs have been running wild. They better cut their party short. I can't focus on torch in this place with all that racket! Turn off the damn fire alarm up there! They're causing one heck of a ruckus. The average temperature needs something like the fire is between 424. Hey, look at me! I'm a professor of that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed... Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not going to sit and wait for her. Whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <laughs> Move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. It's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had in Langstrom. Uh, that must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. 
No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. Pretty lab was kind of creepy, but also really cool. What about the quarry? Did you find anything interesting there? If by interesting you mean useless piles of rocks in an abandoned site, then yeah. That hard drive better give us some answers, or we'll be back to square one. Langstrom wouldn't have gone through all the trouble of encrypting the drive if it didn't contain something important. And with all of us on the case, I'm sure we could figure it out. We should be out there getting answers, not sitting around waiting. Damn it. Why did Bruce have to hide this from us? I should have known something was wrong. If he had just talked to me, maybe... Maybe he'd still be alive. Or maybe you'd be dead too. I guess we'll never know. Just promise me that if you do find something, you'll share it. We're a team, Jason. Yeah. Okay. 